Hello, all you awesome people out there, and welcome back to Geek Visions Entertainment and our Let's Play of Cyberpunk 2077 2.0. This is episode 25. Um, in the last episode, we finished off the, uh, I forget what the quest is called, but the, the main quest, line, the, the final quest of Act 2, we kidnapped Tanako, uh, we got chased by our soccer goons, then we went underground, and now we are, are, we are in Act 3. Um, well, first of all, clearly, as you can see, this is not, this is not Pacifica that we left off with in, in the la at the end of the last episode. Well, that is because I have been doing some grinding, in a way. Uh, I went looking at my trophies, um, because I figured, since I'm playing this again, probably for the last time in a while, I should probably, uh, just get as many trophies as I can. And there was a trophy for getting all of the gigs that we've done, uh, as you, as you know, the last episode. Um, but... You don't just get it for completing the gigs of every district. You also get it for completing these uh, reported crimes uh, in NCPD scanner jobs. I didn't have them uh, visible on my uh, on the map because they're just these small little interactions. It's pretty much just you go there. There's a small group of enemies. You take them out. You get some loot. And there's like a shard that might have like a little little explanation of like a story behind each of these but that's about it and i didn't have them because i didn't i wasn't doing them because like i said they're not really they're not really much there's not ever anything it doesn't really make for engaging gameplay so i didn't have them off but the trophy had has it that you have to do these and the gigs of each district to get the trophy so i've been doing a bunch of these uh i cleared out Watson, I got the trophy for that. Uh, I cleared out uh, Westbrook, but I still have some gigs here. Uh, we have the rogue specific gigs that are now unlocked in the game. So we have those now too. So yeah, so I've been doing those. Actually, I'm gonna take those back off. I'm gonna take those off again. So I, I'm probably gonna continue to handle those off camera. Uh, we probably won't even finish it during our recording of the series because I might just wait until we finish the game and I'll just go by and do all those. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. So it's kind of led us to doing quite a bit as the, we are at level 47 now. No idea what we were before this, but uh, we're at 50 street cred. So we've reached our max street cred. Um, we've gotten a lot, a lot of eddies. We've got quite a bit of money saved up um i upgraded a lot of my cyberware so everything's either a tier four i mean a tier three to a tier five now so two tiers three four and fives is what we're working with with everything now um oh yeah new fit i'm in my grunge era right now so just some some new drip there uh we got some upgraded weapons and whatnot uh, uh, I got myself a brand new San Devison. That's a tier five one. Uh, ten percent crit damage, crit chance, ten ten damage. So we got that going now. Uh, I also upgraded my Mantis blades. I I was not just got I I should have got should got thermal because I feel like the poison ain't doing anything. Uh, we got a few weapons. I've kind of shrunk my I shrunk it down. To only stick to a small pool of guns as you know i'm mostly going with the with the blades and stuff uh i've picked up just random stuff a lot of it we just go end up selling at some point but i've really gotten into throwing knives especially with this tomahawk axe i've really gotten into throwing knives so we got that um we got some new levels i'm up to level 20 with reflexes and tech which is the max level uh we have the legend abilities that are open now we just got to work our way up to them um yeah so we get we've gotten we've gotten quite a lot done i got this now uh edge runner it allows me to exceed our cyber capacity by 50 points at the cost of 0.5 max health but of course that's what we got going for 
uh, more more cyberware. Oh shit, I didn't even notice that. Oh uh, yeah, so that's what we got there. I think next we're gonna work up cool. Like I said, I'm getting into throwing eyes now. I, I really kind of dig that. So we're probably gonna put a little bit more into that. Work away up this dash. Cause I'm also realizing, my goodness, I really, really want that mid air dash. Where is it? This is while sprinting. Oh gosh, now I gotta find it. It's a, it is a thing, right? Is there a dash? I think it's a reflex section. Uh, yeah, there it is. It's level three. It is. So we really want to get that. I'm realizing it's kind of, it's kind of important. All this kind of combat I've been doing. Oh uh, yeah. So we, so nothing, in terms of the story, has kind of happened, too much. But in terms of our levels, we've kind of been, been going up a little bit. See, we're at ninety percent for our rep. Uh, that as it gets us with our street cred and the story. Uh, we're at sixty percent for uh what is it by the way oh, this is our relationship with johnny and this is our the ticker how much we got left until we die so yeah so like i said not not too much going on really but we do have we do have actually i kind of saved them because i was waiting to be recording again i've gotten some text messages that are pretty important uh, so we got back in contact with Takemura. He is alive and well. He let us know with this terrible selfie. So he's alive after the after the events of the end of the last mission. Uh, we did have the choice to save him, which we did. So that's cool. Whoops, that ain't what I wanted to do. Face Takamura. Well, we'll probably never see Takamura again after this because we are not picking the devil in this. Uh, we got this from Coach Fred. Um, final fight that we talked about earlier. Also, we got the bonus fight open now, too. So that's what he messaged us about there. Uh, oh, I was in the area. This is just that this is that rogue gig over there. I believe all the rogue gigs give us uh things that are specific to johnny so it's like his clothing uh i believe his gun comes in one and his car comes up later so all of the uh johnny samurai uh gear all comes from roads things here but this is what i'm excited about because i was wondering when the heck this mission would would become available and i think it only becomes available when you max out your street cred so we got an unknown number so they want to meet no tail motel room 210. Let's just go the the who is this? Not get a response back. You called it, what happened? That's what we know. Alright. So that's where we are. Um I'm currently in my north side apartment. So we're back in Watson for a little bit. We ain't gonna be here for too long. Uh, I think in this episode, we are finally going to touch back on some stuff from our uh, uh, stuff we did at the start. Uh, I did say we we're going to start doing with some of these Pacifica stuff because there was some stuff down here that need to get handled real quick because not too much. Two cyber psychos, two missions, and a gig. Is that a rogue one? So who is the art handler in Pacifica? It's Mr. Hands, right? I don't know if we ever got anything from him. But uh, clearly since we moved, we might not do that here today. Um, I think what I actually want to do, we might, we might do this one though, because it's important. But what I really want to do is, it has been a long time since we've done anything with our friends Judy and Pan Am all the way back during those initial main quest lines back in Act 2, the start of Act 2. So we might handle these two first and see how they go. 
So I think for right now, I am going to go to this War Pigs quest. Um, that's when we got the message from uh, the guy back in our corpo days saying he needs some help. And he's pretty close by, so we'll do that first. Actually, no, we keep going. Just turn the volume down. I don't need to be that loud. Uh, and you know, it's a one station. I only mess with one station here. So yeah, man, it's it's been quite a while. I wanted to take a little pause because I wanted to I wanted to catch up. I had quite a few episodes backed up. Actually, while I'm talking, we'll turn it off. I had a few episodes backed up, so I wanted to catch up. So things could have been relatively on still spike. So I wanted to I wanted to catch up so things could be a little bit more recent to a, to a catch up and upload. Um, I think I still have three episodes to upload, but I figured I was, you know, just playing it going around, playing all those little scatter I was like, man, I was really ready to jump back to the main quest lines, get back to the story here. Still got a little recording here, so it's it's cool. Damn, that's next one. I don't know if y'all seen that. I'm stuck again. What the hell? These mortal enemy, the top stair. the warmth of the corporate lap that unique thrill of internal power struggles what I've got a score to settle is all you know uh -huh. I knew it I knew it I knew it rats still in the race don't you need to be somewhere else your piece need oiling guitar needs tuning maybe Mm, I get it. Fine. I'm gonna go take a piss. Oh, and as y'all can see, I also activated uh, Johnny's alternate outfit there. I figured we've been rolling. With, uh, figured we was rolling with the original one long enough. What the hell? Empty. Huh. Damn. Hello, V. Man, time flies. Inferred death just ain't what he used to be. Key word, inferred. But Abernathy is purging the death. Purged me. Whoa. They took my house, accounts, implants. But I'm not done. Yeah, I've been through that, Gonna buddy. prove she was wrong about me. Shove it down her throat. Ah, so you make your move, stepping on me. Gonna serve my head up on a silver platter? And you think Abernathy will welcome you back? Arms outstretched. That's about the size of it. What is now going turn. on? Hands on your head. Hop to it. It's just like, you know, fucking hell. I'm damn sure not a nobody. Not now. Remember yeah, Joey Levani? Kind of in a rush Gonk here. from mergers and acquisitions. Pissed himself the day he was fired. His knees were shaking so much he couldn't even walk. Guards had to drag him out to the curb. What the fuck are you talking about? Saw him as the most pathetic guy ever at Arasaka. Not so anymore. You just took that title. You really don't care if I end you. Oh, 
Open your eyes, Frank. Arasaka threw you out like so much trash. And you're gonna go back and beg for mercy, knowing they have none to give. Lots of people have gone back. Lots? Nah. Some? Sure. To a good brain cleansing, just in case. That what you really want? It's a closed book, Frank. Gotta refigure your life. Game over. Start again. Start again? Got nothing to start with. Less. Got iron and a full clip. Add a little gumption. You're good to go in NC. Just keep it together, Frank. Start from the bottom. Like I did, son. Nothing like running into old friends and reminiscing, huh? Ah, the golden olden days. Oh my god, why are y'all not sitting next to each other? Johnny. Should be. Look at your luck. I mean, could have wound up all jittery like him. Have a nice night, V. I'll be at home. Looks like it's not in the morning. What are you talking about? All right. Okay. Who and where should we go first? It is like nine in the morning. I think I missed that window to uh, meet up with Judy. Do I want to? Do I want to fast forward time just to do that? Let's see here. Uh, we'll do that later. I could do violence. This violence is pretty fun. Uh, we don't want to do that. Oh uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go visit Judy. Like I said, it's been a minute. Uh, no fast travel on you, boy. Well, actually, you know what? Let me sell this random crap I got. Oh, too far. Too high. He's in the bank. Uh, is this one? That's that one. No, that one. Let's go visit Judy. Oh, a lot. Right down the stretch. I forgot where, I forgot where the bike was. What kind of cars are those? Oh, really anything on You're it? screwing with my head. There's that tone. Yelling comes easy. Taking me out somewhere? That fucking board is on the impossible. I am not yelling. Said yourself, we got everything here. Tunes, stores, eateries. That's all you ever dreamed of. Okay. Good to know. Oh my god. I don't even think that's PG. That's what we got. 
Real Water. Sponsored by <laughs> Pete Davidson. <laughs> That's cheap. That's infidel. Uh, no. No. How's that any different from some... What do we lose this conversation for? Early. Is this early? Like six? Can I like wait? You know, get there in time? I'm not going to do that. Might be, might do nothing at all. Let's see, uh, let's go. 5 30, 4 30. 5 30. I was gonna see if we could do it and like she'll be here. Or if I have to wait. Go Disney. I'll be honest, I didn't want to write this book, but they paid me, so here it is. Well, actually, it was written by a ghostwriter. Oh, hey, it's a uh, Drake. Just, <laughs> just kidding. I haven't lost my self respect, not yet, unlike Drake. So, so who even reads books nowadays? I thought people only bought them to decorate their apartments. At least that's what I do. By the way, wouldn't it be better to just get rid of shells altogether? Something to think about. So, where was I? Oh, right. So the publisher told me that they want me to publish my autobiography. And do I have any questions? Of course, I asked them if I could swear like a, like the drunken sailor I am. And they said, well, sure. Shit, fuck, cunt looking asshole. Hey, it works. Now that's now that that's over, let's move on. Thank goodness I'm not making money on YouTube. <laughs> you might have seen me on TV where I host a satirical show called Info Flash. It's a pretty sweet gig once a week I get to read smarmy jokes off a teleprompter written by our interns and they pay me to do more than the you make in a year. Isn't capitalism fabulous? Oh, so they like a late night talk show guy. All right, but how did I get here? Well, it's simple. One of my dad's colleagues was a showrunner at N54 News and suddenly I found myself going around with a coffee pot. Refills anyone? It was all unpaid, of course. Apart from that, there wasn't much to do so you could usually find me out back taking one of my hundred or so daily smoke breaks. For some reason, people thought I was funny. Somehow, the shit came out my mouth, made grown men cry with laughter. So they popped me down in front of the camera, and I just kind of winged it from there. How did you get to where I am? Well, you can't, because your dad doesn't have a showrunner friend in N54, and it's not like they're going to pluck some rando off the street. Don't you know people like me aren't supposed to rub shoulders with bottom feeders like you? Oh, and I did I already mention that capitalism is fabulous. D Z E N G for fuck's sake. Get all those components. Ah, look at that. She here. I ain't gotta wait. Hey V. Thanks for showing. Yeah, it's been like a month. <laughs> Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Some deets about her could be useful when I talk to her, don't you think? No, leave the talking to me. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. Expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger. Get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Ooh. Guess I know the type. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. 
I'll open it. Just disappear. Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. You know how to get around their systems? Appears so. I was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as paella. Follow me. What do I got to do? Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties. Yep, bet I even know why. Dolls House feedback. Request performance, no change. Define average. Eager to work overtime. Good attitude. Gail, no improvement. No willingness to change. Heaven, average. Good work attitude. Can different plastic surgery. Okay. Months, uh, first month, trial period going well. Sky, highest level performance. Exemplary. Consider requesting TC for a bonus. Uh, it's a Sky, one of the ones we got. Sun, high performance, toss better supervisor, but otherwise, okay. Most focus at the Parker. Angel, high performance, exemplary. Second candidate for Azure. A Angel was the other one. For Azure Prize, seems system really chooses him. Find out why. Menstrual average, okay, attitude. Another complaint from a client. Disciplinary, storm, very big improvement. Keep an eye on her. Torrent, okay. Also, lost focus at the Parker. Zephyr, satisfactory, correct work out to no regularities for two years. There's no raise. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mock. Guess you've managed okay. to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a common thug. Yes, V. I mean yo. Hey, don't worry about me. I'm just over here, you know, looting all your shit. Sounds like I left a mark on this place. Good. If by mark, you mean buckets of blood? And yeah, congrats. Oh, did I get into a shootout when I was in clowns? It's been so long, I legitimately do not remember. You have no idea how valuable my time is. Shut up. Don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. Yep. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm starting to think blowing hot air is all you're good at. A pathetic attempt at getting under my skin. Is it? What's next? Threats? Ooh. Micah and Judy. Yeah, Micah and Judy were a thing. I can read all that. I ain't reading all that. I've read like five times already. They were a thing. Michael was about the business. Judy cared more about the people. Clearly, the two of them had some issues. I can pause and read these if you want to. Yeah, that's right. Y'all gonna stay and wait until I'm done <laughs> so I can get this conversation continued moving. Just reading emails. Broke up with Judy immediately to the dating apps. Ooh, Martha. Ooh, Martha. Not Martha. No, I just say that name. See, I got a picture of Judy, though. All right, what was, what was going on? We're not done talking, but you do well to hear Judy out. We'll make sure your worst fears come true. Oh, stand to lose my youth at ease and influence. Something's gonna happen. 
or you'll be the last to know. Huh. I guess I am taking over. Because she can say shit. We can't do what we want to do without you. Yes. You mean making better life choices? We want to help the dolls. Judy, whatever dolls you want to... make more eddies Japan. than anyone else in the industry. Thanks to the chip, they experience no trauma. Every whore in Night City wants to work here. It's the Tiger Claws that are the problem, and people like Woodman. He raped Evelyn while she was unconscious, then sold her off like so much scrap. Good, uh, good, good, what you good two pitch. are out to do is impossible. Completely beyond your means. So, you won't help. I thought I expressed myself clearly. Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely? Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. You picked the wrong side, Maiko. I'll be the judge of that. That went smoothly. <sighs> she didn't even let me make my point. Yeah, girl, you gotta be assertive, like I did. Don't worry, she put on an act. She needed to show who's boss. We took her by surprise. She couldn't do anything but throw us out. She'll call soon enough and ask what we actually wanted. You might be on to something. It's so, so weird seeing other people do that animation. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planning and knifing you as their enemy. Well, that's just a hostile down area. to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I well, used to have a big crush on her. It took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you, a deck chair, and a mai tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No, me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. So, I don't, I don't remember if I talked about this before, but games with romance options are typically go with a, with a male character because, you know, I'm a dude, she's a dude, he's a dude, we're all dudes. But, uh, yeah, and I typically do that because I typically find uh, a romance option there. Like the one I like to typically gravitate towards most of the time. But I'm not going to lie. The, I do like, I, I feel like I have talked about this before. I do like the Judy romance more than I like the Pan Am romance. I like Pan Am, I do, but the, the the Judy romance, I do like. I do like that a bit more, especially with one of the endings. It kind of works out a, a lot better. What about Woodman? Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody? Fine. 
want you to do it. All you have to do is ask. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. Oh, don't work for me. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end them. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. Oh. Okay. Damn. Just fucking <laughs> immediately just open. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Maiko? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Oh, damn it. I forgot she was an English one. Dude, that was a... A downloadable add-on a while ago. Johnny's additional outfit. Alternate outfit, I should say. What's up, fam? I ain't gonna lie. I thought I killed you already. I couldn't remember. Where's Maiko? Why'd she fucking call me here? Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. It's fucking kind of you to remember. Here. Go light a candle. When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead. Oh shit. Oh, I thought I still had my axe. I don't know just throw it. Bought all this ammo. Oh, don't, don't pick them up. Pick them up. the ground floor to get out of this place yeah it typically never works out that way almost Either felt like the world would be a better to? place once you died and the feeling it was so fucking strong you know revenge isn't ever really worth it people want to believe it'll be the miracle pill for their grief that's not how it works. Typically, you know, it's just business. Huh. Say, so hopefully, I don't. Leave all no cops again. Damn, that shit only took. So, shit took less than an hour. So, what to do? What's the move, bro? Gotta get back to my face. Something big. The feeling to her sense of justice wasn't big enough. Michael only works with specifics. Minute there. Thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule? Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop, how much ammo you'll use, how many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes you gotta deal with the dirt. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. 
I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. <laughs> right here next to this fast travel station because i think we are going to head out into the badlands meet back up with our girl pan am so we gotta we gotta solve the save oh yeah and i gotta see if i can remember that um well, we can't. I want to pop up right in the middle of it. Oh, it's like it. Also, I gotta see if that mission activates the thing with Scorpion's body and shit afterwards. I think I have to do this first. And then come visit them sometime after. What the hell? What are you talking about? We ended the conversation. I'm talking like I walked out on you or something. What's up, avocados? Man, you got some real short shorts there, buddy. Just walk out right in the breeze, huh? I don't know you! Fuck off! Don't let me out the air this bitch out right now. You know, I don't think I can. Bitch, you lucky. Let me see. Let me see something real quick. What uh hardware y'all looking with? Uh, Not that yourself. I need it. Doesn't seem like you get a lot of customers, huh? True, but I get by from my regulars. Well, how's that? They buy a new iron every week? They bring them in for repair. The sand, it gets into every opening, every little crack. You gotta take them apart, air blast them every once in a while. If you don't, well, might eventually find yourself wishing you did. Want to see what you got in stock? Browse to your heart's content. I said, I don't think I necessarily need anything. Really, at this point, I'm just looking out for iconics. Yeah, these are all tier five stuff. Yeah, I don't really need them. I don't really need none. I barely use the ones I got. Cyberware. I think I'm pretty good. Actually, you know what? Can I buy? Yeah. I want to get myself chipped. Straight to the point. I like it. Can I buy? Do you have like? Do you have the? Should I just get the regular Mantis blades? You do have the thermal ones. Body tuned. What's the regular ones? Reflex. Stealth damage bonus and melee damage. What does this give me? Explosion damage, grenade recharge speed. Two point seven, one oh five, five point six. That gives me more damage per second. I mean damage per hit. I just noticed some. They got rid of the what we call it. Uh, there used to be upgrades or mods you can buy for them. Uh, now they're just a whole separate thing now. Cause you, you, you cause you only have the regular Mantis blades, and then the thermal things would be a mod you can put on them. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh. Why does this give me health? No, okay. we'll, we'll keep them. We'll keep them. We'll only need them. Man, oh man. I hope he's still alive. Because it's been like... <laughs> it's been like uh, two months since you asked me for help trying to save this dude. But we gotta make it like we came. Get from outside the camp. There we go.
V, it's good you're here. Had no idea you and the Aldecaldos had made up. They continue to grind my gears something terrible. But, you know... They're family. Exactly. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but... I felt I could count on you. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you know, I'll just sew up, you know, like a month later. Always Pan Am. You and me are chums. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Him? After what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, what was I say? Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Man, for a badass Nomad clan, they sure like to gossip out here. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Oh, oh, Lenica's car. Real cool. Yeah, bro. Is there a problem? Just that if we're looking outside, we must be a hot mess inside. That's why we'll go in quiet. A frontal assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up recon. V will sneak into the Wraith's camp while I'll be his guardian rifle. Yeah, what the fuck they gonna be doing? Wait. Meaning it's just gonna be us two? What about all you guys? Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek. Static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we might. So we do what Saul would want us to do. Yeah, Your leader shit. gets nabbed and you, what, shit. hope for the best? Rather than I think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! He has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Hi, Mitch. How are you? Mitch, how you been? <laughs> Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs. And hey, it shouldn't be me occupying your thoughts, but Saul. You taking a look or not? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. That's all I need right there. That's it right there. That's our way in. I already know this, baby. Done this before. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in. Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. 
It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building. There. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. Kind of like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local cabinet. You would just need to find the control room. Oh yeah, yep. The control room. Mm-hmm. Gotta, gotta get in there. Do the control room of the rooms. Oh, trash, do we? The so skywalk. Dope. It connects the garage to the main structure. Dumbass dude. Alright, I got everything I need. Okay, no? got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep. Yep. Let's go the get hell? Saul. Hey, Mitch, is the everything van primed? Fucking blowing up. I did what I could. I Take a tour. Alright, uh, let me, uh, detach myself from this car. Oh man, there are a lot of you motherfuckers, huh? So, what? You're at the helm of the clan now? I mostly improvise. Something you'd like to say? Just curious. Looks like you're in charge of the camp with Saul gone. I simply have the loudest opinions. And just so happens, most folks tend to agree with them. But I'd like to be clear. What you and Pan Am aim to do, I'm grateful. Even if your plan has little chance of succeeding. Aren't you the optimist? A realist. But good luck all the same. Try not to die. How do you see our chances? I was helping Mitch with the drones, and truth be told, it doesn't look good. Those parasites knew just where and how to hunker down. If you want to know my take, I think Pan Am's right. In and out quietly is our best bet. Looks like someone doesn't enjoy waiting patiently. I'd rather move my ass than sit on it, that's for damn sure. But when the clan's decided, it's decided. That's the way things are. I don't know. Maybe it'll be our own undoing. You know, we could use a war vet's expertise. Sure you're staying back? I'm sure every passing second puts Saul another step closer to death's door. Go on, V. Get him out of there. If he ain't dead yet, I'm pretty sure his chances are pretty good. What do you think? All I that's going on. Leave town for like a week. My stint in Mexico taught me there's no hole you can't crawl out of. But to do that sure helps having a god in hand, if you catch my meaning. Saul. You want my two Ennis? Without him, all this comes unglued. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet, a rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him out of my back. So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me drivers. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Hey, yo. She ain't, she ain't my lady. She don't know she's my lady yet, but she my lady. Alright, first person. First person driving. I don't know why I'm taking this oh, yeah. path they got We even have a radio in here. 
Take it for a spin if you like. I don't know, it's red on my hood. Oh. It's red on my hood. I don't know if I can. I can't do that right now, Pan Am. Oh, you mean like the little scope? I got you. I'll follow you now. I can't believe he let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? Said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All that are idols. I know. It's just. Just what? Driving slow, trying to make sure I got all the dialogue. Really by far. We got a sandstorm coming in. glitching in more like but is there holy do you see that that is one hell of a storm looking bad oh it's bad in more than its look we have to move quickly Okay, let's go over the plan again. You slip into the Wraith's camp, oh, sunk as there. a fox. Yeah. But if things get noisy, I'll be your long distance insurance policy. Might we'll just be happen. linked at all times. So as soon as you find Saul, I'll fire up the engine and we'll speed out of there. We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. All right, y'all ready to oh. quick save? You ready to see this get handled fairly quickly? I hope. Look at my saddle, bro. Looks like I got the. All right, I'm in position. I have Let's you in range. Let's find out. Oh, bitch. Oh, okay, I can't close. No, these enemies back. But damn, lip. I think I found a sneaky way to slip in. Perfect. These brutes will never be the wiser. Now, I believe this is a technical thing, so I should be good. Hey. Whoa. careful because he has eyes on him. Motherfucking here. Oh, let me uh 
my Apache on just in case. Told you, I've been digging this thing, bro. Okay, they turned around. So, Check him out. Her sounds like a female. All right, cool. Let's grab this money. That's about it. Ooh. Oh wait, what is this? Oh my god! This is a tier five iconic San Devison. Oh my damn! Yes, please. I need that. Okay, I was hoping I might have to turn the uh, cameras and stuff off just in case. Some stuff you gotta read. Some lore dumps. This is uh, junk mail stuff. Handle that with ease, no problem. Completely stealthy. It's all. Do, do, do you have my goddamn cigar? What the hell are you about? Cigar? I told you, sons of bitches. A cigar, some ice cold hooch, and a couple of ladies to keep me company. Either that, or you can kiss my keister. For how old are you, cuz? Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But she left. Not forever. Gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. Can you walk? Fuck! Something is out of whack. You're pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. Seems not bad at all. Demanded a cigar and some companions. That does sound like Saul. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing up the engine. I'll be right there. You. Got by the posted guards. Mm -hmm. And if we can be just as sly together, might get out without firing a shot. Exactly. There should be a quick exit out of the cellar. The way we got in, baby. Look at that. Y'all ever seen somebody handle this so smoothly, so stealthily, without even raising a, not even shooting a shot? With nobody's attention? Nobody knows nothing. Come on, Fresh something. Last. Oh, yeah, let him get in first. Right. Is that a brand new record? That storm is picking up steam. Good. It'll cover our tracks. Anyway, we have good reason not to head straight back to camp. There's no need to play it safe. We'll just burn time. Better late and safe than dead. I agree. I like late and safe. I think I was just about to stop about to talk about that. A piece of ride between companions. Look at this. Now, if you, uh, now we should be able to get there with no problem because I was completely stealthy. Uh, if you got caught or you got into a firefight and you know you had some action, as you run it, as we're driving away here, um, they would, uh, 
chase you down and we have another shootout here but of course I handle that shit like a pro that'll just whip us off this road we need to find shelter the Ingalls farm good idea you two know no one's lived there a while biotechnica saw to that Because I was sure I was about to skip it. But I'm glad y'all popped off some dialogue there. But yeah, we'd have the action sequence where they chase us down and we'd have to open the back door. You see those here buildings? Shoot them. We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Quick! Uh, I need to catch my breath. Could you help me look, B? I'll search in here. Try to turn right back around. I'm just in here. A lot of useful things. The angle's left in a hurry. Biotechnica made them a good offer. Yeah, right. Sell us your land. Or... You don't know that. That's for y'all. I, I did. I did this for y'all. Damn, it's getting cold. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place, and I'll get this junk burning. Anything else? Your Excellency? Huh. I'll need to think about it. Though it'll be the end of our friendship if Saul freezes to death. No, B. It's a giant snowstorm outside. But, uh, you should go. I said snow. It's a giant sandstorm outside. But go outside and do the stuff. You no, know, it was us who asked you for help to save our leader. But, no, we'll send him outside. We'll send you outside. Bullshit. Just like where we were exactly. opportunity for my ass to get kidnapped. See what I see? Expiration day's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. 
That Wraith's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you had mounted a raid of your own, well, that would have been the end of me. <laughs> See that? Clenched teeth, furrowed brow. It's his yeah. way of saying thanks. We've had our spats. A few, like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what's coming. Bigger fucking problems. Maybe a war. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. I gotta agree with Pan Am. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? Oh, oh I'm so glad you asked, my boy. More than you think, Saul. Used to work for Arasaka, so seen plenty. Arasaka's not Biotechnica. The difference is not in the MO. That's always the same. You know what you are to them? Labor. To be exploited and ultimately consumed. Best case scenario. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Ah, boobs. Damn, I love that word. Ha, <laughs> boobs. Well, what was that about? Goddamn, girl. Probably the meds talk. I sure hope so. I think he took a few solid hits to his skull. Oh, I should've hit the toast. I thought it would come back up. Ha! And? Boobs. Think this is any better? No. Just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze... Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, man. Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. How's your whiskey, ma'am? Hmm. Warm. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. Jimmy, Jimmy, you go, go for it, or I'll be a little slow. What a day. You know, is it go for it? Sure you're not getting too comfortable? Um... I forgot myself a bit, huh? Maybe a little. Oh, no! You know what? We better get some sleep. That was a damn long day. And B, I am glad you came. Ah. It meant a lot to me. Ooh. Do you hear that? No. Hmm. The wind has waned. I can't sp We gotta run that back just in case. I picked the, picked the wrong thing. I was looking at it as, you, can we get more comfortable? Not hungry. Damn. I swallowed a pound of sand. Oh, okay, fix that right up. Could you help me look, B? I'll search in here. Get ahead of real quick. Hey, it worked! We have lights! Yeah, just Damn, it's really getting work. cold. Alright, we'll skip all this. I tried to get us some heated. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll check outside. 
Right. Give me a sec. Thank you. If Saul freezes to death, it will have been a wasted day. Down here real quick. I can't sprint. Oh shit. I'm caught in the garbage. I guess I can. Slightly. Fix that up. That goes right there. Can you flip this? Smack that! You gotta, you gotta slam it. That's the most important thing. You have to slam it like that. Or else, or else none of it works. Or else, or else, the, or else the entire damn house burns down. See what I see? Expiration oh, yeah, dates from before the last war. So hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our luck. Do I hear a lecture coming up? No. It's a lecture. They Bye. knew what state we're in. <sighs> it's not the time for this. You're both exhausted. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. It's a damn rotten idea, Saul. Yeah. I know. I have okay. a corporal background. More than you. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. You're welcome. We've had our spats. A few, like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. Oh, but there'll have to now. be changes. No more jump. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Let's put that dialogue uh, out and they just kind of Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Ha boobs. Damn, I love that word. Ha <laughs> boobs. Wow, what was that about? The hell, you look at it. To her boobs. Yeah. To her boobs. Ugh. Now that packs an octane. And? You think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, man. Mm hmm. I couldn't ask for yeah. more. We are going to ignore the fact that you know. How's your whiskey, man? Dirty ass shoes mm -hmm. on me. Warm. Yeah, I Subtle know, metallic aftertaste. Running and sand, yeah. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. I hate sand. It's Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes out. <laughs> After a full day in them, I fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Oh, uh, there we are. Got a few nah, ideas. I don't try to... Think you know what kind? Uh... <clears throat> the... No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Didn't know what I was thinking. No, it's fine. Truly. Don't let it worry you. You know, I just thought the empty bottles and the and the roaches were just so romantic. Right. So, friends, then. B, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. <sighs> Do you hear that? Mm -hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plate, I sure can't get any, should I? Not a wink.
was that was fun. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Man, it had to be the most uncomfortable sleep ever. It's not not only are you on the couch, but like she took up like half of it. We literally had to sleep upright in this little spot right here. Why wow, this motherfucker got a whole ass bed to himself back here? But oh, I didn't even notice all the drawings on the walls and shit, bitch. Yes, that's a kid's room, all right. Random bitch on the wall. That's how you know it's a kid's room. Look who's alive. Hey, did you sleep all right? Good work, V. Okay. Old style raid. Nick is killing me. It's all doing all right. Cracked skull, six busted ribs, bruised kidneys, but he's back at it. Bossing folk every which way. You? Uh, so so. Back is strangely numb. Heading to a ripper as soon as I'm in town. A few springs I need taken out. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Oh, wait, hang on. I thought you were headed back to the Alicaldos. Staying with the clan. There we go. That remains so. Come on. Does he look like a bitch? Last night, when we were talking to Saul, thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing, the wraiths, the raid, it's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp, whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Aldecaldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Oh, uh, hold up. About last night. We don't need to talk about that. I'm just not like that. So what are you like? More like this. Ooh. Take care of yourself. You too. And remember, I'm indebted. Circumstances were different. I'd say saddle up and ride after her. But here and now, just look. Damn hard to catch a girl like that. Only hope you've got is they feel a pang and stop to wait. What's with you? Don't know, a memory, maybe. Don't matter. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. Oh, he's gonna get a look at the the alternate fit you know he got the uh, the, the, the the suit jacket the the silk button up open showing off the the chest meat he got no taco meat on there you know he got the nice little cloth with the with the little fucking belt chain on there got the the, the nice little leather boots on there. you know little fucking not as long as i'm all oh, down that motherfucking not as long as i'm wearing these boots Fellas, hey, I'll see that kiss. Yeah, boy, it did. I did it. Yeah. You won't bury the hatchet with Pan Am. <laughs> I'd say it was more like a battle axe. These things, 
They're tough to bury, and even tougher to keep buried. But I'm optimistic. Her heart seems like it's in the right place. How you feeling? Free. No better feeling in the world. Better start heading out. Yeah, same goes for us. Only once the radiator gets a breather. Thanks, V. What you did for me, I'll never forget it. Hope not. For cashing in that favor, son. All right, y'all. I think we're going to end it right there. Episode 25 of Cyberpunk Done and Done. Back to uh, helping out our friends and shit. We'll be getting, we'll be getting more from them in the future. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. Check out some of the other videos on the channel. I got a MCU tier list. Non, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Non MCU movie tier list. Non movies that are a part of the MCU. I got a tier list for them up on the channel. Uh, also, we looked over the trailer for Dragon Age The Veil Mall. So go ahead and check that out. And I'm pretty sure by the time this is out. We also have the, uh, the gameplay, the first gameplay of it too. We'd look at that too. So go check those out because I'm super excited for Dragon Age. Uh, Spider-Man playthrough, watch that too. The podcast, watch that too. I think we came, we did this already, right? We came to the intro cards already, right? I don't think so. Check out all that good stuff. Uh, more Cyberpunk coming. We got a lot, a lot of this game. Right? So, it's, it's gonna be fun. But anywho, as he rides on to the sunset, everybody out there, to keep watching, to keep playing, and to stay awesome. Until next time, everybody, me and B will see you later. Goodbye.